Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss some more points of the border plots. And in this session, he give some plots. Those are three three plots. This is the one plot, and this is the another plot, and this is the another plot. Take it. These plots. First, take this plot. Take it as assume this is the plot one, and this is take it. This is the plot two. This is the plot three. Here, any plot you should take it start from omega equal to zero and end at the omega equal infinite. Here also, the second plot also at startingly omega equal to zero and end at omega equal infinite. Third plot also starting at omega equal to zero end with omega equal to infinite. And first, first we identify which is for each and every plot where is the phase crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency here if you observe here this plot observe the first plot first plot this is the first plot start from here and end it here here this is a starting which reaches magnitude 1 so at this point this is the circle which has the unit radius which reaches the magnitude 1 this plot is called the gain crossover frequency and this plot this is the minus 180 angle and this plot reach the minus 180 this is known as the phase crossover frequency it will be gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency so for plot 1 i will write here for plot 1 F gain crossover frequency is gain crossover frequency is less than the phase crossover frequency this is the first condition and for the second plot look at the second plot if you observe the second plot the starting frequency is zero from here it continuously going and it will reach the point if you observe here this plot touch at unit radius as this point so this is nothing but the gain crossover frequency and it will touch again at this point minus 180 so that's why this is also phase crossover frequency both are same gain crossover frequency and the phase crossover frequency both are same this is for the second plot this is for the second plot and look at the third plot so third plot starting from omega equal 0 and it continuously flowing and end at the omega equal infinity initially it will start at minus 180 so at this point it has the phase crossover frequency and it continuously going and will touch at the unit radius at this point magnitude value 1 we can write it as the gain crossover frequency so the third plot if you observe the third plot which one is the bigger here phase crossover frequency is lesser one compare with the gain crossover frequency why starting is omega 0 and 1 2 3 and it end to omega equal infinite omega equal to infinite so by observing the these three plots these three plots we have the three conditions the three conditions by using these three conditions we can tell the stability of the system how so for plot one so whenever the important point whenever gain crossover frequency phase ca phase crossover frequency phase crossover frequency is greater than the gain crossover frequency phase gain crossover frequency then the system is called 100 percent stable system 100 percent stable system this is the very very important thing this is the first point so from this this is applicable here the first plot is possible so this first plot is possible so by this the plot one is the stable system 
plot one is become the stable system and the second condition whenever phase crossover frequency is equal to the gain crossover frequency then the system is called marginally stable system then the system is called the marginally stable system so look at here at second for the second plot gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency both are the same so i will write the second second plot is marginally stable system marginally stable system and what is the third condition here the third condition is whenever phase crossover frequency is less than the gain crossover frequency then the system is called unstable system then the system is called unstable system so if you observe here here the third third condition gain crossover frequency is more than the phase crossover frequency that's why third system we can call it as the third plot is we can name it as the unstable system third plot we will name it as the unstable system so by observing the gain crossover frequency and phase crossover frequency we can define the stability of the system so this is the def definition of the stability of the system by using the both phase crossover frequency and the gain crossover frequency okay right and by using the gain margin and phase margin also we will define the stable stability and instability for that purpose so by using the gain margin and phase margin so in order to become the for stable system for stable system so in order to become the stable system so here by using the gain margin phase margin gain margin must be greater than 1 greater than 1 r or r we can tell gain margin must be greater than 0 db gain margin must be greater than 1 gain margin must be 0 db and second condition phase margin must be the positive value phase margin must be the positive value then the system is become the stable system so in order to become the stable system gain margin must be positive and gain r gain margin must be in 0 db 1 or 0 db both are same and phase margin must be the positive and for marginally stable system so for marginally stable system <coughs> for marginally stable system here for marginally stable system gain margin is must be equal to 1 or r gain margin is equals to 0 db 0 db and phase margin must be the 0 in degrees always phase margin is shows in the degrees here phase margin also must be shown in the degrees okay this is the this is the condition for the marginally stable system marginally stable system. for marginally stable system gain margin must be 1 in linear scale or gain margin must be equal to the 0 db or and and with this and phase margin must be equal to 0 degrees and for unstable system so what is the condition for the unstable system so for unstable system here the reverse gain margin less than 1 less than 1 or r gain margin less than 1 or r this gain margin is 
gain margin is less than 1 or gain margin must be the negative in db negative in decibels okay and phase margin is negative phase margin is negative in degrees phase margin is negative in degrees so simply gain margin is equal to 1 then stable system phase margin is 0 stable system and for unstable system less than these values gain margin is less than 1 or gain margin is negative db or phase margin is negative in degrees for stable system gain margin is greater than 1 or gain margin is greater than 0 db and phase margin is the positive so by using the gain margin phase margin of the systems we can define the stability of the system okay so the stability analysis done by the two methods one by gain crossover frequency phase crossover frequency and second method by using the gain margin and phase margin ratios okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you